We're the only station committed to covering Colorado first. Tonight, a community is looking into what went wrong after an officer fired a beanbag shot to chase a bear out of town, but accidentally killed that bear instead. It happened in a small southwestern town of Silverton. Your reporter, Alan Janae, has been digging into this story for you and has new details right now. In Silverton, this is not an unusual sight of bears that wander into town seeking trash. Sherry Nofsinger recorded the video. Oh, yeah, they've been around, I don't know, maybe a little over a week, maybe longer. Others have been recording a mother and cubs in town, too. It's tragic. And I think, the, I think from everyone I've talked to in town, everyone's really, really upset about it. Tuesday night, a mother bear and cubs showed up in an alley. This video was shared by a woman who says she saw people harassing the bears, even one person poking at one of the cubs who had climbed up away from people. That's the shed in the power pole. That's the shed the mother was on and the power pole the cubs were on. Ken Bowden, owner of Handlebar's restaurant, saw most of what happened, saying when a deputy arrived, he tried to haze the bear. When the mother got shot with a beanbag, and then she waddled over to the edge of the shed, crawled down, and then walked down the alley. And that's the last I saw of her. The beanbag pierced the bear's abdomen, says Colorado Parks and Wildlife, wandered off and died, which rarely happens, but the beanbags can injure. CBW trapped the two cubs later that night and released them into the wild, saying they were healthy and strong enough to be out on their own. Bowden understands it. But your your view is if you understand why the deputy fired. Oh yes, absolutely. Right. It wasn't out of meanness or anything like that. But some like Sherry Nafsinger worry about the Cubs and wonders couldn't they have done something else? Well, if from what I hear is true, I think the humans just should have left it alone and called the wildlife officials. The town is now engaged in a lot of conversation about what drew the bears, how they may have been harassed, and the outcome of the hazing. Alan Janae covering Colorado first.